Holy moly, there's some uh, overgrowth here. Got vines, bushes, weeds, plants. We're just trying to just cut it and rake it and pull it all up, but it is coming up. An absolute treat. All right, rainy day, rainy day, rainy day. It's uh, just one of them ones where it's a bit too wet to really do anything outside. Now, the other day we said, well, I said the plan was to get the kitchen sorted out. And we actually changed our mind on that one at the last minute, the camera actually went flat. Um, but we ended up getting the stuff done outside, got the lawnmower running, as you would have seen and decided to get the rest of the grass cut before this rain came and it came Friday night here all day yesterday um, and last night and it's still here again today and it should start to clear up tomorrow for a few days so we did everything that we could outside um, and then yesterday was just a, a chill day we've been flat out for the last few weeks pretty hectic getting everything done and uh, yeah yesterday was a chill out day watching some movies while it was raining outside with the kids um, enjoying enjoying the house that we renovated and can now actually enjoy a movie and a, and a lazy day in. Um, so yeah, that was yesterday, but today we can't sit there and dwell on the rain being here all the time. So we need to get up and get going. So today's plan is to get the stuff inside done. So we need to get that wet patch cut out and removed in the wall. We need to start getting the new Giprox sheets on the two blank areas of wall. There's not much to put on. Get the trim and plaster on. So then we can um, start sanding and painting it hopefully tomorrow or, or whenever we can get to it. It's hard to really make a plan at the moment because everything changes with this weather. So still a fair bit to do, um, but we'll just plod along. Plod along and get what we can done.
So I've got all the old timber out. It did go up a bit further than I thought up into the wall, so I had to cut out like another 100 mil of the jip rock to get up to some solid timber to brace the new bits of timber into. But other than that, the floor joists, everything is solid under there. Um, it was just that pine that was wet and you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but that's where the join in the villa board is. So I'm going to seal all that up. I'll, I'll seal all that up against the timber on the inside and then I'll seal it all up on the outside as well once I've got a solid bit of timber there to, to uh, work with on the outside. So we're getting there. see got all the uh, timber studs replaced all the rotten woods gone everything's solid I've actually just ran out of wood so I gotta go back to the hardware store again get me a bit more so I can sister brace these uh, these joints just to strengthen them up a bit and then we're good to go I'll start putting some uh, chip rock back up and get plastered up Good morning guys. Brand new week, brand new us. Today, this week, gonna be a complete flip of everything that we're doing. Um, we have family coming up, actually flying in today. Beck's sister coming in, our three nieces, plus uh, Beck's dad coming up and they're all coming for a week. So we're gonna flip the script, put the uh, project on hold, so to speak. The renovation's on hold this week. Possibly do a couple of things, but majority of the time is gonna be spent enjoying time with family having some fun and exploring around this beautiful part of far north Queensland. Let's come along with us. All right, so a few changes. One, we have beautiful weather yet again. It's back. Not sure for how long, but it is back. But uh, our family's uh, flight got delayed, so we've got basically the whole day here. Um, they're only just getting it um, on the plane right now, and they've got a few hours plane ride, and then another hour to get back here from the airport. So we have some time up our sleeve to get a few things done. We're gonna plane down some doors, try and get the doors hung, and the new handles on so we can get those tidied up while we've got a bit of time up our sleeve and a bit of good weather outside to get them done. So let's get into it, see how far we get. I'm no builder. I'm just got, I've got this set for 0.5 of a mil so I can just take it off bit by bit, make sure I'm not gonna chew too much off or ruin the, the door or do anything like that. So if the calculations are right, I've done four passes, that's two mil. Still got another eight mil to go. I need to get 10 mil off this side. So see how we go. Keep on cracking on. wasn't a total loss got a few things done but it was just one of those days where every time I put the camera down Bentley keep walking in front <laughs> so kind of gave up on filming got the door hung it's in a working order another day we can pull it all apart take all the hardware off and give it a good paint give it a sand give it a paint 
and then hang it back up. But for now, she's functional. Now, Beck's on her way to the airport to go pick her sister up. They are running late. There's just been delay after delay at the airport, so they're not going to be here till late, till almost dark, I reckon. So it's time for me to pack up, um, probably get the fire going, um, and Beck's going to bring back the groceries so I can cook some dinner for everybody. So we're signing off. Call it a day. You know what? I'm back. There is always something to do, and I just realised there's one more thing now. It's not raining. Check this out, right there. Big pool of water that just fills up all the time. So I need to get some gravel in there or some, some uh, road base. And we've got a little pile over here. So I figured while I'm waiting for Beck to get home, let's knock that one over. And in fact, I've got Bentley over there already shoveling a load into the wheelbarrow. So let's go check out what he's up to. This is why I love what we do. Because if he wants to dig on a Monday, then I'll be here. I'll be here to go dig with him. Not at work, not, not those excuses where it's, oh, dad's gonna be at work or dad won't be home in time. I'm here every day with him now. We are here together as a team to be with our kids and enjoy life the way life should be enjoyed. So, loving this. Should I get digging, buddy? Almost done. Another minor maintenance job done. Now we're ready for the next downpour. I mean, it ain't gonna last forever, but it's gonna last long enough for us to get something permanent down when we actually get some proper gravel a good amount and re re relay the, uh, the driveway of the carport itself. So, done and dusted. I was over here now. Say good day. Good day. What are you up to? Doing a treasure, treasure hunt. hunt for the girls. A treasure hunt. Yeah, really sure it's gonna be dark when they get here. Hmm. Right, there's things called flashlights and spotlights. So. Maybe they can do it tomorrow. We'll give it a go. There's no rain. Mm -hmm. They've been on a plane all day, half yeah. the day. So, 
Might as well have some fun, eh? We'll get the headlamp. We are on a treasure hunt. Well, not on it, but we're making it for the girls. Um, been stuck in something, or been stuck in a plane all day. So, get some fresh air, have some fun. Um, me and Mia are doing it. You wanna say hi, Mia? Hi. Right now, we're going out to the back of where we're gonna build our tiny homes. So, our yard. Um, and we're actually putting one of where our coconut trees are. I'll show you now. Well, yeah, these are our coconut trees that we planted. She drew like a coat. She drew on the other ones. <laughs> I, drew co I drew a coconut tree on the riddle for the coconut trees. Yeah. Oh. Did you put any coconuts in it, in the tree? Yeah, because I was saying like do them pretty small. Oh my God, the Great Dane. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, so stay tuned and we'll have the girls with us soon. Bye. We've finished it and we have the first clue here. The girls will be here soon with Mum and Hallie and Lady Night and Paul. But yeah, so stay tuned for when they come and we will do it. So, peace. What's up team? Another glorious day. Oh, yesterday, yesterday, yesterday. Big plans for family to come up. Um, they did make it here. Don't get us wrong, they, they did make it here, but big plans for them to, to be up here by mid-afternoon and enjoy the day, have some fun, explore the property with, you know, with family and and you know, have a barbecue dinner. That turned into extremely delayed plane flights and them not getting here until almost, I think, nine o'clock last night. So it was a bit of a late one, but um, they're here. It's a beautiful day. Uh, we're gonna spend today exploring the property. The kids are gonna have a ball. And one thing that we're gonna do is clean up that pool area so then everyone can enjoy the pool and uh, finally have a proper swim in there. So uh, that's, on, that's, that's what's on the agenda for today. Get this pool area cleaned up and uh, ready to have some fun in. guys bit of work to do bit of work cut out for us but uh not too much like we said uh when we first done the intro to the property it's just a little bit rough around the edges but the bare bones is absolutely beautiful and we cannot wait to turn this place into our own tropical paradise bought ourselves a new whippersnipper, weed whacker, weed eater, whatever you want to call it. We need to get these weeds down in the uh, in the pool area and I don't have a small enough lawn mower to run through it all so we're going to hit it all with this um, and obviously we had to buy a new one because we didn't have anything when we bought it when we traveled up here so uh, we have to get it all set up so it is new fresh oil, fresh fuel, fresh cord and a fresh start for this baby. And let's get into it.
just found our first cane toad. Never seen one before. Grass is starting to come up a tree. Needs a good mow with a catcher, but you're starting to see it. We've got everyone in the background helping out, pressure washing all the concrete, pulling all the weeds. Coming up mint. Cannot wait to see what this looks like at the end. There's some uh, overgrowth here. We've got vines, bushes, weeds, plants. We're just trying to just cut it and rake it and pull it all up, but it is coming up. An absolute treat. It's coming up a million times better than what it was. We're completely excited to see what this looks like once we've actually got it all cleared out and we give it a, you know, a few weeks of maintenance and tidy up as we go and start to clean up all these rough edges. It's gonna come up a million bucks.
are flying along. Garden's getting completely cleared out. Um, we've got the top half is really starting to come together and lose a lot of weeds. The pool area still needs a bit of a clean up because everything's falling into it, but that'll be the last one. And pressure washing, we're almost coming to an end. The concrete, stenciled concrete is coming up a million bucks. A lot of labor going into this, didn't actually realize how much work would go into it. Even just pulling all the extra dead leaves and branches out of all the palms, there is so many of them. Lucky we've got a million hands on, uh, on deck to give us a hand. But right now, it's lunch time. Let's get some food into us and get some more energy. That is enough for one day. Man, it looks a million bucks. Still a few things that we need to do in there, but tell you what, it's come up a treat for what we've done in one day, I'll tell you. Let's go and have a look. for a beer but there's one more thing that we need to get done let's go for a swim